This is a continuation of uh, the previous tutorial about network analysis. In the previous tutorial, we learned how to uh, create a route between points. Uh, something, uh, one thing I forgot to mention is that once you have found a route, you can click the directions window button, and if you click that, you will see that it creates step-by-step uh, um, -step directions to follow to go from point one to point two, and then from point to point three. Uh, point two to point three. Um, if you open this window, notice just like you get the directions in any other uh, map search engine online, you will you have the the distance that you're traveling and the turn you're supposed to take. And if you click map, for example, right turn on East Harmon Avenue. If you click map, you can also see the details of this turn uh, right below it. So, um, and you can zoom in and zoom out based upon your need. So, um, now we're going to talk about how to do the service network. So, for this purpose, um, let's minimize the route and uh, bring the, um, we're going to zoom out again to the full extent. And let's uh, bring the fire stations to the top and turn off the, the these intersection points because we don't really need that for this analysis. So we bring the fire stations uh, above so that we can see them a little bit more clearly. Um, seems like the red color of the streets is kind of... Uh, affecting it so we'll change the street colors to yellow okay and let's uh, open a service um, area a new service area now service area potentially tells us um, what different what is the different uh, region that this fire station covers for example if we are interested in that we if we say that we want this uh, the service area for this station to be within one mile of the the service station then the facilities are service these uh, fire stations so if you see on this side we had the route and now service area we can add the facilities right now there are no facilities added to it if you right click the facilities um, uh, in this list you will see that there's a option called load locations and if I go there um, I from this pull down menu I can tell it what are my service stations also in this case we would like to find the service area for fire stations once you click that um, you can uh, click OK and this will uh, create the the list of facilities here whatever the number of fire stations is will it will appear so it may take um, a, a little while but uh, go ahead and click OK once this these facilities are added you will see that now it has all these facilities showing as green dots uh, which are the the fire stations so now we are interested in finding out the uh, service area for these facilities so if you right click facilities and go to properties of these facilities um, you will see that that it has um, just typically you can select different uh, symbols for these facilities so um, which, which you have already learned how to do earlier um, in a similar so in this way you can change a lot of properties of all these layers and notice that just like we saw the layers in route you have uh, point barriers, line barriers, and polygon barriers that you can add to uh, to restrict the service area. Now, if you go to the service area and right-click it and look at its properties, you will see that this has also several options that we can set. So, you can list the layers that are available. What are the sources of that layer? Um, if you go to the uh, the polygon generation tool. This is where you will find out that 
what is the 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 region for that uh, polygon so in this case it's set to 100 meters so suppose we want to find the surface area for uh, one mile and we apply that and we can now calculate or solve to find out the surface area within one mile for each of these facilities so click solve and it may take uh, a little while for it to compute that once the uh, uh, solving is complete you can see that around each fire station there is a small polygon that has been drawn and if we uh, zoom into this area you will see that it's potentially the area or the service area for that fire station so that this is the uh, the edge of this polygon is the point which is one mile away from the fire station so in a similar manner uh, go ahead and change that value to two miles and see um, how this uh, compute to be so you will see that how the by changing the service uh, cost or the, the the cost value for the links uh, you can change you can find out the new service area now you may see some artifacts like this one here in your calculations and the reason for that is because we have taken the network or the street map from uh, gizmo web website off the shelf we didn't even look at the attributes and possible and we are using the length as the cost function so possibly if uh, uh, the network has some issues and they they would show up as artifacts the purpose of this uh, exercise is to show you that you can actually calculate the service surface surf, service area for different facilities um, using this technique now mind you that if you were looking at simple Euclidean distance you will get a, a circle of one mile around the fire station but technically that is not the distance because the fire trucks have to follow the roads and so technically the one mile service area would be the point based upon a one mile distance from the from the fire station on the roads and that would come out to be a different polygon as you see in this exercise so this is how you can use the service area tool in the network analyst to find how much uh, area is covered by a certain facility now one thing you can do uh, uh, use this tool for is for example if you want to identify which areas are underserved or not served so for example if we drew five mile polygons you will see that there will be some gaps um, that are still not covered by these facilities um, for city planning these kind of tools can help you identify areas where for example new uh, fire stations need to be built um, I would encourage you to perform this exercise using for example the hospitals and emergency clinic uh, layers as facilities and see which areas of the city are not served um, or are not in the service areas uh, of these hospitals or in other words which areas are too remote and difficult to get to hospitals from um, so in the in the next uh, tutorial we'll talk about the how to find a clo the closest facility which is kind of linked to the service service area tool